Good morning. Welcome to Randy's Corner, and I'm your host, Randy Clark. If you happen to miss the show, you can catch it on the YouTube, WRL TV 47, sometimes this afternoon. Now, I got a lot to say this morning because I want to show you a short video at the end of the show, but uh, I got to talk fast, and y'all know that's not my trait. Uh, the Lord didn't give me a fast talker for some reason, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay. Uh, I want to give you a local police, our Sulacarga Police tip line is 256-249-4716. Crime Stoppers, 334-215-7867. We have got, somebody has got to call into these tip lines if we want to stop some of this violence going on in our area. Okay, today... From uh, 7 this morning until 4 this afternoon, right out here at Coosa Valley Medical Center, the Masquerade Jewelry and Accessories $5 fundraising sale. And uh, the fundraising sale is sponsored by the Coosa Valley Medical Center Auxiliary and benefits the Coosa Valley Medical Center Foundation. It is going on in the front lobby of the Coosa Valley Medical Center. I've never seen so much jewelry and uh, other stuff and it's all just $5. If you get a chance, watch the video I done yesterday with Rosa, and we kind of walk around and show you what's in there. Okay, Sulacarga Pickleball, they make tonight at the Sulacarga Tennis Courts from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Everyone is welcome. Come out and play some pickleball with us. Okay, uh, now I want to talk about something that's not going to happen until April the 11th through April the 22nd. And this is our Sulacaga Magic of Marble Festival. This is the 15th year of this, sponsored by Alabama State Council, State Arts Council of the Arts, and Sulacaga Arts Council. Thanks to Dr. Ted and Shirley Spears, the staff at the library, the museum, and everybody involved. We will have three to 5,000 people. Let me say that one more time. Three to 5,000 people coming in our city during this time, and they're going to spend their money in our city. So when they... When this happens, the 11th through the 27th of April, everybody give them a big old Sulacaga welcome. Okay, uh, we're starting our spring cleanups. Everybody knows uh, how I feel about litter. We're starting our spring cleanups, and um, uh, I will announce them as they happen. Just stay tuned every Tuesday. And while we're speaking of spring cleanups, I need to talk to you about something. And it's gotten better but we, as a city, they are spending thousands and thousands of dollars to get our drainage systems cleaned out. And we have got to stop putting our debris in the roadway. When you put, the, put them on the edge of your yard, when you put them in the roadway, you've seen how much rain we've had lately. It's washing this stuff right back in these drains. It's going to stop it up again. And once we spend this money, we're not going to have any more money for a long time to get these drains cleaned out. So please put these debris that you're cutting right now, put them on the edge of your yard, and please do not put them in the streets. Okay, a couple more things I want to talk about. I want to mention right now we've got, in this wide open, we've got boys baseball and girls softball going on with eight school, Sulacaga and Comer. Go out there and watch a game, and this little bitty pocket change that you're giving to get in the gate, this money goes right back into the schools. It helps buy uniforms. It helps them travel. It helps keep the fields in good shape. So, uh... Go watch your ball game. Also, uh, boys and girls soccer at Sulacaga and our tennis program are wide open. Stop by the courts and uh, watch a match. Now, uh, and just remember, any money that you're giving, any whatsoever, goes right back into the school. So, uh, give them a little bit so they can help buy some stuff. Okay, that'll do it. Now I want you to watch this film right here. Uh, this, 
This little film I'm, uh, we're fixing to show you is for you. I found out everybody don't do social media. So uh, sit back, enjoy the film. They had the grand opening yesterday. We got Publix opening tomorrow. But this film right here is about one great family. They are fantastic. I met all of them. So enjoy the film. See you next Tuesday. Hello, Sulacaga and surrounding areas. I'm here with things going on in Sulacaga Facebook page. And we're at a long-awaited business that's came to Sulacaga. We're at Lloyd's, and I've got the owner right here with me. This is Bo. Welcome to Sulacaga. Well, thank you very much. It's good to be here. Could, uh, could we start out by giving the viewers just a little bit of history on the Lloyds? Yeah, uh, the Lloyds was started by the Chesser family, Lloyd and Margaret Chesser in 1937 in Chelsea. My dad bought the restaurant, my mom and dad bought the restaurant in uh, 1971 and have operated it uh, until they passed in uh, 2020. I took over in 2020 uh, and I worked with my dad for about 20 years and I left for about 15 but then I came back when he got sick and then I don't know, I just felt like uh, coming to Silicon and my dad and I actually looked at it once before. Right, right, okay. And um, uh, what, what we really wanted to talk about was, uh, Mr. Bo, you still going on the business up in Inverness? Yes, the, we'll have two locations. Uh, I've got a manager there, Jamie Thompson, and then my son Eli will be the manager here in Silicon Okay, and, and uh, I met Eli, and what a great guy. Hey, he's a good kid. I he's love good, his personality. He seems like a hard worker, and I think he's going to do great things here at this restaurant. Well, thank you. He is. He's got a good personality. And I know you're very proud of him. I'm very proud of him. And my daughter's also got a uh, little camera uh, is in the business. Well, how about that? I'm anxious to make her too. Yeah, she's, she's, uh, she kind of does a lot of the IT stuff for us. Okay. Now, let's get down to business. Let's talk, let's talk about, I'm sure you're going to be open seven days a week. We're open seven days a week. Monday through Saturday, 11 to 9. So we're going back to our old hours before COVID. Sundays, we're going to be open from 11 to 4. Okay. And uh, for those that use GPS and haven't ever ate at Lloyd's, I can't believe there is any. But if they haven't, haven't ever ate at Lloyd's, what's this address? It's 40810 US Highway 280, Silicaga, uh, 35151. Okay. And... Uh, do we have a phone number for calling in? We do have a phone number, but I haven't memorized it yet. That's so okay. I'm going to have to tell y'all what it is. It's 256-369-2066. Okay. And uh, did we pretty much cover it all? We did. And I really appreciate you staying after us and uh, doing this interview. It means a lot to well, us. Well, it means a lot to you. And I'd like to tell you on behalf, if I may, of the viewers and the people of Silicon we sure appreciate you bringing this restaurant to Silicon. We've been waiting a long time. I know you had a few problems with work to do out here. We did, but now's the time. It, it, grand opening is this coming Monday. It's this Monday, uh, 11 o'clock, so come eat with us and uh, be a little patient with us. It's a new kitchen design, right. and it's, uh, I've got some veterans that actually lived in Silicon that transferred here, so half my staff is brand new and half of it uh, has some experience. But I'd just like to say, first of all, I'd like to thank the mayor and the city council and everybody, uh, the, the building uh, inspectors and all, they have been fantastic. We use two subcontractors, electrical and plumbing, and I can't say enough good things about them. They did a did a, an outstanding job and we had some hiccups that we had to work through and everybody was really, really, really good about it. Great, and uh, we can't thank you enough for bringing this restaurant to Solicard. And I promise you this much, Silicon and the surrounding areas is going to support Lloyd's 110%. Well, thank you very much, I and mean, we're really excited to be here. Well, thank you for coming, and I can't look forward. I mean, Monday. Yeah. Monday's the grand opening. That's yeah. March the 13th, right? Yes, sir. And y'all open at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So we're going to close at night. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. See you next time.